Hello to all. Welcome to the application of the individual financial planning elements. For this, I highly recommend to use the Swiss Create Business Manager. This easy to understand and simple tool provides you with all the financial planning elements you need on a single platform. The Business Manager contains a predefined management cockpit under the name Balance Scorecard. I open a new one. And as you can see here down below, the four main elements in the scorecard correspond to the four areas from the corresponding part in the intro movie clip. Client, production, processes, stuff, and finances. How do we proceed now? I will take the same example of my coffee shop. I start with the element client. First, we first define all the elements we want to measure. Turnover, yes, it's important. Benefit, also important. Uh, but benefit is too imprecise for me. I rewrite this term into big profit. Here it comes to my mind. It is important to follow the development of my purchase prices. I will consider this point on the production processes. New clients. Yes, I take it. Complaints. It's important, but I don't want to look at it separately. I will put this aspect into the next topic, customer satisfaction. So I can delete it. Customer satisfaction. Okay, I keep it as mentioned. Market presence. I will not treat this point in my cockpit, so I delete this point as well. Just as example. Second step, measures and target. I define the key figures and measures and the target numbers. The measures and the target numbers. Turnover. Here I define the average monthly turnover according to my financial planning. Okay, I write, I write average and this number I will find in my planned profit and loss statement. So I wrote there an year I make a turnover of 89,000. $300 divided by 12 months will get me a monthly turnover of about $7,500. The big profit. Again, I take the average monthly gross profit. This number I will get again from the planned profit and loss statement. There I find out that I will have a gross profit per year of $70,790 divided by 12 months and I will get a monthly gross profit or big profit of about $5,900. New clients. I don't just want regular clients, I want new clients too. How could I measure them? Mm, maybe just with an estimate. Well, I know how many coffees I sell a day. And for every client I don't know, I will keep a tally sheet. The target is about 20%. So out of five customers, it would be great if I had a one new customer I didn't know. Customer satisfaction. How could I measure the customer satisfaction? 
I could add a colored glass pearl to every coffee and the customer can draw this colored glass pearl into one of three columns when leaving. These three pillars or columns are described as happy, neutral and unhappy. So I can see graphically how many customers are happy. I write satisfaction columns and as a target 99%. I know that this can hardly be measured objectively but I will see if my customers accept the system. So the grid for the main elements on the client is ready. Now I do the same for the three other areas, production processes, staff and finances. At the end, I define when I will work with the cockpit. For example, I would be, it would be ideal to work with it on a monthly basis. So, 1st of May, I can open the cockpit, write the date, and then evaluate each element. Under initiatives, I can then enter measures for improvement. That here is my now what? This is the most important work. So if my turnover is below expectations, what can I do? What can I do? I could focus on new customers. Until middle of May. What else I could do? Hmm. I could think about new additional products. Until 20th of May. And at the end of the line, I can click on my satisfaction. So green, all is good. Yellow, who watch out, watch closer next time. And red, not satisfied, need for action. Save now this um, balance scorecard from the 1st of May as a PDF. and save it I will save it on my documents and now I have a kind of logbook and next time at the next cockpit work I can re-evaluate the old entries and estimate the effectiveness of the measures that's it Remember, here too, less is more, so only the most important elements should be added to the cockpit. The cockpit is there for the entrepreneur and not the entrepreneur for the cockpit. I wish you much joy, strength and discipline in your cockpit work and good ideas for the know what work, because that is the most important work.